Hello and welcome to video one of the three free training video series on how to build amazing websites using the web design formula. My guess is you have a burning desire to have an impact with your websites and to communicate your message in an elegant professional way. You are probably an entrepreneur, a student, a business owner, or perhaps you're looking into designing websites for a living or as a hobby. You are definitely in the right place. I know why a lot of websites are struggling and why they keep sinking lower and lower into the massive ocean of websites. I have a formula that will help you build professional, beautiful websites, and I will share with you that in a moment. In this video, I'm going to share with you my five-step formula that will help you design awesome websites that will wow your customers or your friends. I'm going to do my best to inspire you to get you started. I want to give you the information that will change your life and the way you look at web design forever. I want to give you the tools that will enable you to build amazing looking professional websites for yourself or your business. Or perhaps even use this formula to build websites for a living, just like I do. I know it's a big promise, but if you stick with me for a few minutes, I will show you how I built websites for my local tennis club, a charity, a corporate website, blogs and so on. The web design formula I'm going to share with you can be used by anyone. You don't need any technical skills, qualifications or experience. All you need is a computer and an internet connection. So who am I? My name is Augustine Makichemu. I live in a small town in the West Midlands of England. I grew up in a poor family with hardly any luxuries. My dad was on low income and had to support a family of six and mom was a housewife. His main priority was to get us through a decent education and that's what really mattered to him. I knew I had a serious responsibility to help with the family when my dad was diagnosed with lung cancer. So after high school, I got a job at a factory. I worked long, painful hours for very little pay and constantly thought of ways to earn money in a less painful way. I finally got to save a bit of money and I bought my first computer, a Pentium 1 which ran on Windows 95. I taught myself my way around the operating system and soon I was ready for the internet. The first time I went on the internet was an amazing experience for me and I knew right away that I wanted a career in information technology. In 2000, I began my journey on how to build websites. It was a really challenging journey because those days, there wasn't enough information on how to build websites on the internet and a few books that were available were boring to read and too technical. However, I got there in the end. I set up a freelance business and started designing websites for friends, charities, sports clubs, blogs, corporate businesses and made money along the way. I know that sometimes when you talk about web design, we are conditioned to think that you have to be a programmer and you have to know all these complicated programming languages like PHP, JavaScript, ASP and so on. Trust me, you don't need to know any of these programming languages to design websites. In fact, I don't even know any of these programming languages. I've simplified the design process by putting together the critical steps you need to know to design websites. All this is in the web design formula. By now you're probably asking yourself, why am I giving all this information away for free? What's the catch? Well, before I can go ahead and, and give you the web design formula, I want to share with you why I'm doing this. I've always had a passion for sharing knowledge. In fact, if you haven't been to my website, graphicstv.com, go and check it out. I have videos there where I share graphic design tips and tutorials all for free. So if you're ready, let's get started. The web design formula is broken down into five steps called the WRSAT. Let's start off with the W, web domination. When you register a domain name or if you have a domain name, it's not enough just to have a domain name. You need to create usernames of that domain on social networking websites. For example, if you have a domain name called graphicstv.com, you need to have a Twitter, Facebook, YouTube account with that username of Graphics TV. Provided with consistent colors, logos, this creates a strong brand and also helps the ranking of your websites on Google. Let's move on to R. And research. Now, before you can build your website, you need to plan and research the keywords that are less competitive in your market. A lot of amateur designers build, just build websites and hope that visitors will come. Now, this approach is deadly and will keep your websites buried in the Google searches. It's easy to do the research. All you have to do is to go to the Google keyword tool and check how competitive your keywords are. All right, let's move on to S, site architecture. Before you dive in and start designing your website, you need to sketch your website architecture. This is a visual representation of how your website pages will link to each other. This will give you a clear understanding on how the web pages and the categories will be laid out before you start designing. Alrighty, let's move on to A, the appearance. 
this is one of the most neglected stages of web design. Let's take a look at typography. You should not use more than two typefaces on your website. The more you introduce typefaces, the more you're going to clutter the message. So just stick to one typeface and different font weights. On your main content, make sure that you have enough space between the lines in your paragraphs. Otherwise, your message becomes too difficult to read. Let's move on to color. The colors that you choose on your website should follow a color harmony. There are certain colors that look good together, while others look really bad next to each other. Choose colors carefully for your projects. Color can trigger psychological emotions. Let's take a look at images. Choose good images, and when you crop your images, use the rule of thirds. It gives your images a good composition. All right, let's move on to T for testing. It's amazing how in this day and age, you still get websites with broken links. Now, when you finish designing your website, you need to make sure you test your website following the site architecture that we discussed earlier. Secondly, you need to create a Google Webmasters account. This account is very helpful because it gives you an indication of how many pages are indexed by Google and also gives you a report of how many pages have errors. Okay, let's do an exercise. In this exercise, we're going to create a color palette for your website. It's really simple. All you need is to have the main color, which is also known as the base color. I've created a PDF with information on the meanings of color and what colors are suitable for which projects. It's free to download, so go ahead and download it. All right, so let me show you how you create a color palette. So first, we're going to go to a website called cooler.adobe.com. Okay, we are here on cooler.adobe.com. This is an excellent website for creating color palettes. So what you can do is you can start by browsing these colors and see which color palettes you go for. Alternatively, you can search for the color. So say, for example, you need to create a website for coffee. So perhaps you want to design a website for a coffee shop. These are the, the ideas that come up for coffee. And you can see these palettes are already created. But now in this example, I'm going to show you how to create your own. So what you're going to do is you need to sign in. If you don't have an Adobe account, so all you have to do is to come up here and register. It's free and it doesn't take long. So I'm just going to log in with my Adobe ID. Okay, so I'm logged in. What you need to do is to go to create. So now you need to have an idea of your base color. So in this example, I'm just going to use red as my base color. Next, what you need to do is to come up here and choose a rule. So I'm just going to choose triad. So now you can start playing around with these colors and, and start creating your palette. So I really want to have a dark blue. So I'm just going to come here to the slider and make it really dark. Like so. Yeah, choose this one. And just bring it down a bit. I think I'll leave that as it is. Okay, so this is how you create your color palette. When you're done, what you need to do is to come up here, give it a title. So I'm just going to say color two, and then you save it. So once you've saved it, you can see here I've created another one uh, earlier. So I'm just going to click on that. Okay, so that's my color palette that I created. Now, the advantages of registering for an account is you can always log in and go to your saved color palette. Okay, so now that we're done, on the Mac, what I normally do is I hold down the Shift Command, Shift Command 4 to actually select the part of the screen that I want. On Windows, what you need to do is to press Print Screen. And then once you've done that, you open Paint or Microsoft Word, and then you go to File, Paste. Now that pastes that image onto your, onto your document, and then you can save it as a, a JPEG or a GIF. I've gone ahead and created a design using this color palette so that you can see how it's going to look and how the colors work well together. So let's take a look. Okay, I've created this quick design just to show you how these colors work well together in a real life situation. Now what I've done is I've put the light colors on top of the dark colors to create contrast. This makes it easier for your reader to read the message. Okay, let's move on. Once you've created your color palettes, please do share them with everyone. And don't forget to tell us what the website is going to be about. Remember, 
this is one of the most important steps to creating professional looking websites. I'm looking forward to seeing your color palettes. In this video, we covered web domination, research and planning, site architecture, appearance, testing. In video number two, I will show you how to implement the web design formula on a real life project. I will even show you the tools and the websites I use to put this formula into action. Please put your questions in the comments box below and I will try to answer every single question. Also, share this video with your friends, your family or whoever is interested in web designing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.